working principles of a fixed displacement piston pump. The device we're going to describe here can also be used as a hydraulic motor. A main shaft connected to a gasoline engine or an electric motor rotates a cylinder barrel. The cylinder barrel looks like a revolver's barrel and the pistons are located inside this barrel just like bullets. The rotation of the barrel forces the pistons to rotate with the barrel. The round ends of the pistons are connected to the yellow shoes which slide on an inclined black swash plate. Springs in the cylinder barrel, which are not shown in this animation, forces the pistons towards the swash plate. Let's observe the motion of one piston inside the cylinder barrel. Notice that during one revolution, the piston moves inside the cylinder barrel from the top left to the bottom right and back to the starting point. The horizontal distance between the top left and bottom right are fixed and thus the name of the pump, fixed displacement pump, is derived from this fact. While the round end of the piston rests on the yellow shoe which is sliding on the black swash plate, the other end moves closer to the green port plate during half of the rotation and moves away from the green port plate during the other half of the rotation. The view of this port plate is shown as if an observer is looking at the pump parallel to the rotating shaft from the yellow port location. As you can see, there are two crescent-shaped gaps on this plate that are shown by the red and blue colors. The red indicates the high-pressured oil, and the blue indicates the low-pressured oil. The same color convention is true for the oil inside the cylinder. Notice that for the high-pressured oil, the pistons move toward the port plate and force the hydraulic oil into the red crescent gap on the port plate. The movement of the oil in the crescent is shown with the white bubbles. For high-pressured oil, the bubbles move toward the exit port, indicating that the oil is coming from the cylinders. For low-pressured oil, the bubbles move away from the inlet port, indicating that the oil is coming from the outside. The oil in the blue crescent is sucked in by the pistons moving away from the port plate. After a cylinder reaches its furthest point from the port plate, the cylinder passes the gap between the crescents and the compression cycle starts. Let's see how two pistons operate. Notice that during compression, the piston passes in front of the shaft. And while replenishing with fresh oil, the piston passes behind the shaft. This was done to show the 3D visualization of the pump. And here are all the pistons working in harmony. In practice, the number of pistons are usually odd numbers, such as 7, 9, or 11. In this animation, we're using six pistons to make it easier to animate. By looking at this animation, observing the motion of the pistons, and our color code convention, we can immediately say that the system is working as a pump or a motor. For the pump, the piston moves toward the green port plate when the cylinder color is red, and away from the port plate when the cylinder color is blue, and the opposite is true for the motor. This is also shown on the port plate disc on the right. The red circles ride on the red crescent and the blue circles ride on the blue crescent. The opposite is never true. In future videos, we will represent hydraulic circuits and motors with the green port plate, disc shown on the right. But how can we tell whether a port plate disc represents a pump or a motor just by looking at it? Unfortunately, we can't since we don't know whether the piston is moving toward the port plate or not. To overcome this, let's make one more convention. When the colors of the discs are lighter, the piston is closer to the port plate, as shown in this section of the animation. And if the colors of the discs are darker, the piston is away from the port plate, as shown in this section of the animation. This is how we can tell whether the port plate shown represents a pump or a motor. 
since the red discs on the red crescent changes from a deep red to a lighter red this signifies a pump if it were a motor the opposite would be true this concludes our presentation on the fixed displacement piston pump we will show an advanced version of this pump the variable displacement piston pump in one of our next videos to come